Hi guys, it's Amanda from the Binky Bunny Shed here. And um, today my bunnies are going for their mixy vaccination today. So I thought I'd do a quick video on it and what the um, vaccination is about. Um, so it's their first trip to the vet. Um, what I've done is I've put their carrier in the shed so they can get used to it. Um, and I've put a blanket on top. So if it is, um, if you do take your animals to the vets, it's best to put their carrier in their hutch or their um, run or shed first, just so they can um, get used to it. And if you just like shove them into a carrier that they've never been in before, it can make them really frightened. So this by this way, it just um, gives them a chance to get used to it. So that's what they're doing at the moment. <laughs> Um, so I've just written a, a few notes down about mixed mitosis and what it's about. Um, so it is a severe viral disease and it poses a threat to all pet rabbits and it usually varies depending on whether your um, rabbit lives indoors or outdoors. Um, they don't tend to get it if they live indoors um, but you still should get your rabbit vaccinated. Um, all owners should get their bunnies vaccinated against this disease. Um, it spreads through um, contact with wild rabbits and hares um, if they're carrying the disease and it's a really really nasty and horrible disease. Um, if they do catch it um, they get like conjunctivitis in their eyes but like a severe form of conjunctivitis and they'll get um, lumps around their face and on their genitals and if your rabbit does catch it um, and they don't have their mixed mitosis vaccination um, the chances are they are, they are going to die um, and it's usually in within 14 days so if your va uh, rabbit is vaccinated um, there's a, a much higher risk of them um, being able to be treated and surviving. You're a good boy, aren't you? Um, so yeah, it, it spreads through contact with wild rabbits, hares, and it also can be um, spread through um, flies that might have it. So that's why you should get your rabbit vaccinated even if your bunny lives indoors. What are you doing, Rocky? <laughs> so while I'm at the vets I'm going to um, book them in to be neutered as well and hopefully within the next two weeks so that'll be good so the bunnies are going to go to the vets in about two hours so I'll do a video after that and I'll tell you how they got on so I'll see you soon hi guys so we're back from the vets um, it all went really well they're a bit shaky in the car because they haven't been in the car for quite a while well since I got them so that's been about three months um, so when we got there the vet guy gave them both a health check so we checked in their ears and um, checked their eyes their teeth and um, the weight he said they were all in perfect condition which is really good so then he gave them the vaccination and he put it in the scruff of their neck and um, yeah so it went really really well um, and I booked them both in to be neutered um, in two weeks time so <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> they'll look forward to that but I don't think they will <laughs> um, I also am gonna give them well the vet's gonna give them their VHD vaccination as well you have to leave it two weeks before you can give the VHD when you get the mixed mitosis vaccination you can't have them both together um, but while I was there he said that they're trying to do a vaccination where they are going to be both together the mixy and the VHD so you only have to take them once um, I don't know whether that will be every six months or every year but I suppose I'll find out soon um, so while I was there I also picked up a few leaflets um, I picked up this one on the VHD and it just tells you a bit of information about what the symptoms are, how you can protect your rabbits, um, how it's spread and all about the vaccination. 
so I'm going to give that a read a bit later and I'll do a proper video on the VHD as well um, next one I've got the James Well Beloved um, dog food and um, this is what my dogs are on and I got it because it's got a Westie on the front and I've got three Westies and it looks so cute and there's another Westie as well and um, I've got this leaf lit probably because of the Westie on the front <laughs> uh, anything with a Westie I'll buy it <laughs> um, and then I got this one it's about fat fluffs and they're a rabbit rescue and rehoming centre and they also do pet boarding um, it's based in the West Midlands, so the Solihull and Birmingham area, and they're a really good place if you want to get a new pet rabbit. Um, definitely get one from there. Um, and as I'm, as I told you before, I'm moving house soon, so I'm going to check out how much it costs to get them boarded there, um, and I might have a look around first before I take them there. Rocky, can you get out of the way, please? You're sitting on all the leaflets. And no, you can't bite them. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, move along. No, no, no. Move along. Go on. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, the next leaflet is about pet insurance. Um, my three dogs are with Eshaw at the moment. Um, they've been with them for nearly eight years. And I'm thinking about getting the buns insured. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I thought I'd get this just so I can read through it and see how much it'll be. My phone's just gone off. Um, and then while I was there, they gave me these two medical cards, um, one for each bunny. And it just tells you when the next vaccination is due. Um, so that will be September 2012. So as I said, the Mixie is every six months and the VHD is every year. So I'll keep them safe. And then um, you should take your medical cards in each time you go to the vets to get them vaccinated and whatnot. So yeah, it went really well. Um, I'll do a video soon on the VHD and I'm also going to do one of when I get them neutered and how I prepared for it and... Um, what it's like after they get neutered and how to look after them so i hope you enjoyed this video and um, please comment rate and subscribe and if you've got any request requests um please let me know and i'll see you soon take care bye